So how many else out there sense that this story that broke about Kim Kardashian and being robbed at gunpoint, um, that she uh, was robbed of somewhere north of five, I guess, $10 million worth of jewelry. Um, now, first, you got to re- remember this, okay? Her husband is Kane West. Kane West is really hurting financially right now. Really hurting bad. And Kim Kardashian, she doesn't have a whole lot of money either. Um, she's probably in the millions, but she doesn't have a whole lot of money. Um, when you think about, you know, where she, where where she is financially, and you think about where Kane West is uh, financially, I don't think Kim was in on this. I think she was uh, terrified in what she went through, but I think I think Kane West was in on this. I think he set it up, and. This was just recently in a movie. I forgot the title of the movie, but this was recently in a movie where, um, you know, basically a boyfriend um, set up his girlfriend. And at the end, she finally walks away with all the money and the two guys are end up, end up dead. Uh, the two guys that were in on it, working together to rob her. Um, but this sounds too fishy, people. This sounds, this smells too much like fish. Um, So think about this. Uh, She's in a very uh, secure place. Uh, No, you know, just think about this. You don't hear about this every day, right? Where uh, a movie star is robbed at gunpoint or a TV show, you know, star is robbed at gunpoint. You don't hear it. You just don't hear about it. Um, You you hear about scares and different things like that, where, you know, paparazzi and different things, but you don't hear being robbed at gunpoint. Um, Now, I don't think the police, obviously, were not in on this, but it makes you wonder, because in this day and age, uh, how far a person will go uh, for money? How far will they go? Now, I, just judging by the character of Kane West, he would probably go to the limits. He would probably go to any length to try to pull this off. But it, it seems too... It, it seems too clean, doesn't it? Is this the way that uh, criminals treat their victims, tie them up, uh, gag them, and put them in a bathtub and just leave them there. To the point where she was able to get out herself. Is anybody thinking about this? I mean, they, she was able to get out, get free herself. She freed herself. Um, and... The only thing that was taken, and now think about this. Who takes $10 million worth of jewelry in a jewelry box with them on vacation? Or on a job, for that matter. She was working on a, on a show at the time. You know, what, what's my purpose in doing this message? Because I feel like from the time I heard this story, that it just didn't sit right to me. And so I just wanted to ask you out there what you all think. And this is not based on suspicion. Um, I'm not suspicious. This is, I'm going on what I feel in, in, my, in my heart, my spirit, that this is, was an inside job. This is an inside job. And so I did a search on the Internet, and sure enough, others are saying the same thing. Was the ten million dollar jewelry heist an inside job? Go go do a search on Google. Other people are saying the same thing. So that was after I already believed that it was an inside job. That I saw other people that are saying the same thing. Folks, listen, it's too Hollywoodish. This thing was done too clean, and for Kim Kardashian just to walk away, come on, right? I mean, the gags on her. Um, but yet the level that someone like Kane West will go to 
to, to take a gag to the level of even breaking the law, even involving the law. So why would Cain West do this? Without question, there's insurance. They have insurance on all that jewelry. You don't think they're going to get the insurance money on this? Well, you don't think the insurance company is going to do a tremendous, uh, um, you know, uh, inspection on this and, and they're going to do their job, due diligence, and they're going to um, inve- investigate this uh, crime? Oh, yes, they're going to. Come on, for $10 million worth of jewelry and jewelry box? Come on. But just think about it. Would she take a $10 million worth of jewelry in a jewelry box and other, and other things that she said were stolen? Would she take those things with her? Or would she leave those in her home? Really? And, and it, blo- it boggles the mind to think that someone even has millions of dollars of jewelry, a million dollars, you know, over a million dollars in a jewelry box. All the children, all that's going on in this world today, people starving, and she's got a jewelry box that's worth more than, I guess, over two million dollars for a jewelry box. So anyway, uh, I'd like to hear your comments on this, folks, because this this is this is almost as comical as the as the presidency, as the campaigns and and, and the uh, run for two thousand sixteen. That this is just as comical. I mean, this is a circus. Is the world turned into a total complete circus? And maybe the officers that were uh, jumped and everything and, and, and tied up uh, before they even got to Kim Kardashian, uh, maybe they were in on it too. Money talks, people. Money talks in this world. So don't forget to leave your comments. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, uh, we encourage you to go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned. God bless you.